but love it so much you're willing to take a stand for it today. Your voice added to the defense of liberty. A lot of patriots, a lot of patriots. Are there more patriots than I'm hearing in this crowd? Let them hear you in Washington, D.C. time in our country's history when patriots had to disguise themselves. They had to sneak around in the dark for what they stood up for. Back in 1773, there was a group of brave Americans who valued freedom more than their own safety. And they took a stand against unfair taxation. And I'm proud that as we stand here today in the clear light of this beautiful Texas afternoon and tell the truth about the state of our nation. And to be honest with you, things have been better. There are some serious financial issues that are stalking our economic times here, that are stalking our nation, and they need to be set right. Unfortunately, the folks in Washington, D.C. who got the upper hand in the 2008 elections are rampaging through the halls of power. They're overturning the rights that we have, or we had, one by one, making choices that would leave our founding fathers scratching their heads. It seems that the folks in Washington have forgotten about the foundational documents of our republic. They are happily ignoring the limits our founding fathers put on the federal government. Limits those early leaders ratified because they had seen what happens when government goes unchecked. And so our Washington continues to erode our rights while they spend not only our tax dollars, but the dollars our children will someday earn and hopefully they'll get a chance to spend. It's time for us to restore the fundamental principles of our nation and restore our commitment to a set of shared values. Yes. I'm talking about values that were forged on the anvil of experience. Values that formed the nucleus of this nation. Values that our fighting men and women have died to defend all around this globe. Yes. those brave men and women who have fought in Afghanistan and Iraq, I want you to know I don't consider you to be a right-wing extremist. You are a true patriot in my world. And I might add you are surrounded by fellow patriots who embrace concepts like lower taxes, smaller government, and freedom for every individual. I'm talking about rights like states' rights. States' rights that are enshrined in the 10th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Unfortunately, those protections have melted away over the years. You know, since the Constitution was first ratified, the federal government has slowly, steadily, and successfully eroded the notion of states' rights. The Founding Fathers understood that one size does not fit all, especially in a country the size of America, and especially in the state of Texas. strength in this state, especially compared to the federal budget mass and the troubles in other states, proves that Texas knows what's best for Texas. We're proof, We're proof that good things 
things happen when government lowers taxes. It reduces spending. It encourages private sector growth. When Washington interferes with that, when it interferes with that proven approach, experience tells us what that outcome will be, and it's not pretty. I happen to agree with Texas' seventh governor, and I think its greatest governor, Sam Houston. When he said, Texas has yet to learn submission to any oppression. sending a very clear message that we will not stand for our pockets being picked, our children's future being mortgaged, or our rights being taken away. Standing here today, we are part of a movement that is growing, that is gaining strength, building momentum. We will not be ignored. And you don't want to take it anymore. I want you to take out your cell, just like Kelly asked you to do a while ago. I want you to text in the word FED UP, F-E-D-U-P, and then dial it to 95613. FED UP, F-E-D-U-P. Are you fed up? I'm fed up. Text it to 95613. I'll reply to you. And then we're going to send these efforts to Washington, D.C. And they're going to hear Texas loud and clear. Washington needs to listen with a very simple message. Cut spending. Cut taxes. Shrink government. Reread the Constitution. to the values, return to the values, the lessons, and the precepts that made this country great. Do this, do this, Washington, and our nation will remain strong. I want to thank you all for being here, for your courage, for your effort, for your passion. God bless you. God bless Texas. And God bless the United States of America.